vous asseoir à ma table. Il fait si froid dehors. Recognize that? Yep, it's the sound of Edith Piaf, my favorite French chanteuse. But it could be an Italian, Balinese, or Mexican songstress. Because today we speak with Ronan McMahon, publisher of the Real Estate Trend Alert, about fulfilling a lifelong dream of many of us, certainly mine, owning a second home in another country. Thank you for joining us on the Ageless Traveler, dedicated to making lifelong travel easy so you never stop traveling. And with today's guest, perhaps living in the places to which you love to travel is in your near future. I follow Ronan closely. He's a master of helping us fulfill big lifestyle dreams. I'm your host, Adrian Berg, and I'm here to watch the currency. This is a good time to make sure I'm getting this information to you just at the right time. Now sit back and relax. All the resources we discuss are on our show notes and also at the agelesstraveler.com website. So take a look at it. And while you're on the site, click the free gifts button to join our Facebook salon and receive our exclusive fun goodies. Wow, Adrian, thank you for that fabulous um, intro and lovely to be here with you. Well, it's all the truth. So, so let's get to the jugular here. You've devoted yourself to helping people understand and in fact, buy real estate in other countries. W- what is the profile? What's the profile of the person that you think is right for doing something like that? Yeah, I mean, I think the, the the profile of the person for whom this is right, I think is, you know, anyone who has a hunger for, for opportunity, you know, as, as as you alluded to, I think some of the, the, the greatest real estate opportunities we have today are, are overseas. We can position ourselves in fast growing markets, fast growing, high yielding markets. So really, this is a beat that's for anyone who who's searching for, for opportunity. But, you know, Adrian, again, as you as you alluded to in, in, in your intro, this opportunity comes with so much more than kind of than financial upside. Right. I mean, this is opportunity that brings a whole lifestyle with it. It does. It's an amazing lifestyle opportunity. So let's start first with the retiree. But then I do want to go to people like me in 1972. Not much money, just starting out. But let's start with our retiree. Where are the top places now that the retirees are going or that you would suggest they throw an eye to? Yeah, so the 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 top places where retirees are are going these days in terms of volume are the the major Mexican resort destinations, places like Los Cabos, Puerto Vallarta, Playa del Carmen. Um, so that gives, you know, that's particularly appealing to the snowbird, you know, maybe the retiree who has in, enjoyed many vacations in a destination like that. And now, you know, winter's encroaching and they just want to be in the sun, in the warm sea for maybe three, three or four, three or four months a year. Looking a bit further afield, um, Portugal, and I know Portugal is a place that that you're very big yes. on. That is growing in in appeal. That is in in terms of Europe. That is the the most popular kind of growing destination now you know kind of fast nipping on the heels of the the spain and the france and you know for for me both both those countries and both those places um are places that for, for me are are very special where where i spend part of my year you know i'm talking to you from ireland where i'm just home visiting from family and um, i leave from here to go to my home in portugal and adrian my home in Portugal, you know, I just rented it for July and August and I made enough in, in rental income to cover the costs for that home, including the mortgage for, for an entire year. From Portugal, I go on to Cabo San Lucas, where, where I have another base. And again, that's another base that, that, that I rent when I'm, when I'm not using it. So kind of whether you fall into the retiree bucket or the remote worker, you know, th- these criteria can, can, can very, very, very much overlap. Right. And of course, your alert does tell people I, I'm not 
try to promote my wonderful guests. These are not ads. This is what I think would be very useful to the listener. So that's real estate trend alert. Now, let's take a deeper dive. Um, I The first place I ever bought was a little place. You may not have heard of it. It's called New York City. And I paid $47,000 for an apartment. <laughs> I did in Greenwich Village. So it must, must be valued now in the millions. Point is that if you're young, you got to start somewhere that you could afford. If you're a retiree, I'm still in the cheap buying section. So I'll tell you where I went. I'll tell everybody where I went. I went to Montenegro. And I took a look at Montenegro. I took a look at Croatia. These are also places. Now, Portugal, we're all going. We're going on a trip in May. Please, now this is a plug. Please go to agelesstraveler.com and see our magnificent Portugal trip. Come with us to Portugal, May 2024. You know, my mouth is watering as I read the Colette brochure for our May 11th to 24th trip to Portugal and the Azores. I can't wait to revisit Lisbon with you and show you its hidden museums, sip red wine, munch olives, and listen to the Fado music. You know, that's a UNESCO heritage experience, but we're also going to bathe in the beauty of the Azores, peer down volcanic crater stroll in the Terra Nostra Botanic Park. Now, come travel with us, and if you've got a group of 10 or more, or you're a nonprofit organization, discover the benefits of our group programs at the Ageless Traveler, Featured Trips, and Group Trips. Don't forget, this is the kind of travel that will allow you to never stop traveling. So I will live in Palm Springs, and so many people from Palm Springs have a place in Portugal that they have their own Facebook group, people from Palm Springs who live in Portugal. How do you like that? So here's what I'm asking you, Ronan, and that is, for snowbirds, that's why they own there, just what you said. It's It gets hot here, so you got to leave for a few months. For snowbirds, people who want to live there sometime and rent sometime, where do you think the top would be? For 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 a snowbird, I would go for, for a snowbird looking for for low humidity. I would go to to Los Cabos in Mexico for a snowbird looking for more a uh, Caribbean type vibe. I would look to Mexico's Riviera Maya or maybe Cap Cana in in the Dominican Republic. So those places assume that that proximity is important. And I think that this is very important, Adrian, as folks kind of go through this process of refining on their their destination, you know, what's your comfort level in terms of proximity to home? You know, do you need to be in a place where you can hop on a plane and go to a grandchild's, you know, music recital or football game? You know, do you need to be that close? And if you don't, you might look to, you might want to look a bit further afield, maybe to to somewhere like Uruguay, where, you know, where obviously the, the seasons are upside down being in yes. the Southern Hemisphere. And you go to a place like Uruguay and you have very much that it really reminds me of Portugal, you know, which is, which is my, which is my, my home base. So it's very stable, very safe. You know, it's, it's almost surprise. It's so refreshing to see, you know, kids hitchhiking on main roads. It's safe. It's secure. It's got beautiful miles of Atlantic beach, historic cities, pine forests. You know, I was so, in Montevideo, and I I loved this. My favorite city in the in South America. My husband a little bit more expensive. He's an expensive guy, so he liked, of course, Buenos Aires. We were there for the World Cup, so you know, you fall in love. Wow. Yeah, I'm making a point here. My point is, it's a big world. One of our mottos is, "The world is your oyster. Where will you go?" When you're thinking about buying real estate, start with your own lifestyle. I need places where people want to rent in the winter because I live in paradise in the winter and where people don't want to go in the summer. You may be just exactly the opposite. You want to get away from your winters and be home during the spring and summer. You go where you love. 
we'll figure out how to get it rented for you. <laughs> Ronan will, not me, uh, wherever you are. There are just wonderful ways. But when we come back, Ronan, I want to talk about the fact that for a retiree or even a younger person, lifestyle costs are so much lower. That may be a motivation. And you can whet our appetite with what it costs to live in some of these places with good Michelin restaurants and everything like that. We're not going into the wilderness here. Don't you guys go anywhere. Have you considered traveling to a place of incomparable beauty, great adventure, and spirituality? If so, did you think of Iceland? I didn't think you did, but I did. And we're traveling in October 2024 on a quest to see the magical northern lights. Colette Tours, a leader in small group trips, arranged everything for us, including a three-night expedition to see the lights. The flight is only about four and a half hours from New York City. And you can even add on Greenland if you're like me. We'll go together. All the information is at the Ageless Traveler website, agelesstraveler.com, featured trips. And of course, there's always discounts. Agelesstraveler.com, featured trips. Never stop traveling. Hello again, and this is Ageless Traveler. This is Adrian Berg, and I am here with a guru. Yes, he is a real estate buying abroad guru, passive income guru, lifestyle guru. His name is Ronan McMahon. I've been stalking him for a long time. He doesn't even know it. He's the editor of Real Estate Trend Alert, and he rattled off several places in the world that is a good place for second home buyers. Uh, or for people who just don't want to use that property. They may never even see that property. They just want it to be passive income. But if you do want to use it, Ronan, one of the big draws is the cost of living in some of these places. So let us shift from what's the best place for renting to the best place for living while you are there. What would be in terms of cost? What are appetite with some of the costs? Yeah. The best I, places I, there. I mean, for, 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 for cost of living and quality of life. I mean, you look at places like, like Southern Italy, Northern Portugal. And I mean, Adrian, you can, you can eat like a king and a queen with, with wine, with appetizers, with courses that just keep coming, you know, for seven or eight dollars, you know, this is just phenomenal value. You know, I think a lot of people think that, you know, going to Europe is is expensive. And of course, it can be if you're in the the most expar- expensive part of Venice or Paris, but go that little bit, bit off the beaten track and just the the, the richness of the food, you know, just drinking beautiful crisp spring water from from the tap you know health care that's a fraction of the the cost back home are as free if you participate in in some of the the, the 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 government programs it really is just an absolute game changer you know my my colleagues at international living you know generate these costs of living indices yes. and it's yes. it's just mind blowing you know you've you've countries like ecuador where a, where a couple can comfortably live on you know 1800 dollars per month you know you look at these these countries in in europe where you can live comfortably and by live comfortably i mean going out and dining in excellent restaurants you know at two thousand four hundred two thousand eight hundred dollars per month for 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 a couple and that's affording things that would absolutely be considered a a luxury back home so it really just it really just it it's life-changing you know when you when you think as a retiree you've you've a finite amount of time and you have a finite amount of resources. You know, I just feel so bad for people I hear of scrimping and, you know, fighting for the last few bucks, extending their working life. And they just don't know that this, this option is open to them, that they can just 
completely change the financial equation of their lives by considering going full time or part time to to Italy or Portugal. And then you have countries in South America like 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 Ecuador again. where And Uruguay. Just, and Uruguay. It's and, a little bit more Ur- expensive, but it's it's not. So let, let's let me just say that there's a lot of know how here. And I think this is what scares people. Road Scholar is all about touring the world. It offers intermittent volunteer trips through their service learning component. It's not just sightseeing. It's not even just lifelong learning. Road Scholar is a real lifestyle. Check out our Road Scholar resource website right here on the show notes. Make lasting friends. Enjoy lifelong learning. Sightsee. Volunteer. And you know, the ageless traveler is really dedicated to making you see the world. And guess what? Road Scholar has over 150 trips. Take a look at those show notes and consider the Road Scholar the next time you want to travel. Give us one government program. I know there's the dollar program in Italy, and I know that Portugal is extending visas too. Could you explain a little bit about one or two of your favorite government programs anywhere in the world? Yeah, sure. So, I mean, maybe my favorite government program is Spain's or Portugal's non-habitual residency program. And that is a program whereby if you become resident in Portugal and you meet certain criteria, which can be, you know, if you're an artist or a writer or a computer coder or an accountant, it's very broad criteria. You can, you can, dramatically reduce your um, your tax so t- you're taxed at a range of between 0 and 20% the top is 20% on employment income down to 0% on all your dividends and, and 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 capital gains now for an american to do this you would need to get the the golden visa first cuz you do need to be entitled to be resident in 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 portugal but it it opens up a a lot of opportunities to dramatically reduce your 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 tax bill particularly you know when combined with an american's you know ov- foreign overseas yeah, so earned, one, of earned. The thing, yeah, one of the things we we know is you got to get your hands around this please do join our facebook group <laughs> In addition to our blogs and our podcasts and our webinars, every week we meet. And we meet with experts from international living, from areas that have nothing to do with being abroad, the great co-lit tours that are putting together special ageless traveler tours. And we ask questions because once you have honed down on anything you want to do, whether it's buying abroad, buying domestically, nothing to do with real estate, how do you get your a husband to want to travel anymore when he stopped wanting to travel. We have experts that answer these questions. So, uh, and we know where the conferences are. We know where the free webinars are from places like International Living. And of course, all of the written material that you can get online, like Real Estate Trends with our guest today. So go to our Facebook group that's Ageless Traveler Salon, Ageless Traveler Facebook Salon. Better yet, go to agelesstraveler.com, join our group, and become part of the community. So let, let's go back to how your life will change here. So we're posing a young person who, like myself, started early in life buying something because they could afford it in another country. And there are some places that are $50,000, 60000 or retiree who might have 200000 to get a second home and instead they do it abroad or they might have more. And they are going to have beautiful lifestyle change. They get there and they don't know anybody. All of a sudden, the whole idea of new friends comes into their face. What do you do? Are there expat communities that you have seen that have really been very functional? Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, you know, you just gave a plug for your Facebook salon. I mean, that is the best starting point. Once you move to a new place, there's 
there's expat forums, Facebook groups everywhere. Um, and th that's the best starting point. From there, you can kind of plug into to community um, activities, whether that's group hikes, group yoga, meditation, you know, community and charity work. It really, you know, those expat Facebook groups really are the are the the the, the gate, and you know th that everything opens up from there. But by by and large, all these communities we're talking about are highly functional. Of course, like any community and i guess in particular any community that has a has an online component you know there can be there can be challenges and toxicity to be avoided within within that community but you know it's there it's functional there's like-minded folks folks just like you and you know Everyone now has time, they've energy, they're feeling good, and they're there to be connected and engaged. So it's a it's it's a wonderful place to start a new adventure. And this is a great adventure, just listening to you. You know, if people really love this, I'll tell you how you know if you're right for this. If you're riveted to this conversation and your mind is going all over the map and you have in your heart a place you've loved, you're right for this. We come back, I want to ask a personal question about a place that I love and have not found the real estate I would love. And this is a guy who's living very close right now, I guess, to the places I love the most. Don't you guys go anywhere. You may know that I am one of the representatives to the United Nations from the International Federation on Aging. Now, the IFA is located in Toronto, and I frequently travel to that city. So I took another look at it for the purposes of tourism, not for business travel. It is a great city. It's an underrated gem for travelers. You can explore its diverse districts like Little Portugal or Little Jamaica for a taste of cultural diversity, delicious food, and unique experiences. Now, surprising travel adventures are everywhere in Toronto in very unexpected places. If you have questions about Toronto, if you're thinking of it as a stopover, as I did before I went down to South America, you can ask those questions on our fan page and you'll record them. I may use them right on the air. How do you find the fan page? Well, the links are right here on our show notes. Never stop traveling. Now we're back. We're here with our last segment, but we're not going to finish because we are going to let you know where you can find all this great information that Ronan McMahon offers. And then we're going to see him on Zoom, where he talks about some of the things he's personally doing right now with his followers. Okay, so Ronan, how does everybody find you so that they can become more involved with knowledge about buying abroad? Thanks. I'd love to see everyone at RonanMcMahon.com. That's RonanMcMahon.com. That's my website. You can have a dig around, um, have a look at the, the books I've written and pop your email address into a field there. And I'll send you a copy of, of a couple of chapters of my most recent book. And um, yeah, that's the, that's the place to and come meet me. What's the name me. of the book? Because you've written a lot. What's the name of your most recent book? The so the 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 prof the the profit principle uh, the the profit principle was see I know I see how I stalk you I know yeah. the name of your book and you don't know the name of your and book I'm blanking on my did, most did recent I, book see, do I lie I stalk you I know everything you've done <laughs> okay so I'm, the fact I'm that looking he's around lie. he office. can't remember all his books because he's got. I'm so looking many. around my office here for a copy of my most recent looking, book. Looking for his own book. Okay. It's a very good book, by the way, if you didn't know that, Ronan. So <laughs> if you haven't read it. So here's the thing. I am an Anglophile. The and, big and, book of profitable real estate. There you go. But you <laughs> so there you go. So here we go. I love I love Britain. And you're in Ireland right now, and you can hear by the lilt in your voice that you've been there from the beginning. I love it. And I went there in 1980 and I was a dummy. I did not buy at the Docklands. I looked at it, made a big mistake, said, who's going to live here? Meanwhile, everything's a million dollars. 
So I might be out of the box. And why do I like it? Because you can do the channel now and you can go anywhere in the world from there, even though it's used to be remote. You also love France because there you also can go anywhere in the world. You have to remember that if you travel, you're an ageless traveler, some of the fares to get within Europe is $35. You hop on a plane for $35 to $60. So you can get everywhere. And, and that's why I love some of those areas. If you love South America, you can do that too from various locations. Now, Britain. Is there any place left in any of Britain? I go to Scotland once a year. I go to the Edinburgh Festival. I go to the Festival of Gilbert and Sullivan. So I go there a lot in August, but I can't find anything. And this is the truth. Yeah. You tell me. Yeah. Yeah. I, am- I the my my recommendation is to buy elsewhere buy in places that that generate strong rental income and use that rental income to get yourself a really really nice airbnb or extended stay rental in the in the uk just the everything the, the prices are extremely high in the uk Ex- interest rates are extremely high the bureaucracy on landlords is is getting more more onerous you have tax filing obligations it's a really big headache i'd make money elsewhere and rent whether that's your dream cottage in the countryside or whether that's that slick london pad use that income to to, to for on short on rentals your it'll doing it that way will make for a much more varied and simple and richer life i believe so this is such wisdom and it's hard because I really want to live there, right? But this is what we do in our salons. We get personal questions about anything that has to do with travel. And we get real experts. And sometimes it's as simple as this kind of guidance or this kind of wisdom. Well, sadly, we've come to the end of our discussion. Thank you for listening. And see the show notes. And also visit agelesstraveler.com for the resources we mention on the show. And click the free gift button to join our Facebook salon and receive the goodies that will make lifelong travel easy for you. Now, all salon members can ask Ronin and other experts questions so that you can make your second home dreams come true. And please visit the Ageless Traveler YouTube channel to meet Ronin in person and learn more about buying property abroad. And if you want to be an active volunteer for greater life satisfaction, you'll love our next episode. We'll talk to the leader of AmeriCorps Senior who guides you on the path of powerful volunteering. This is Adrian Berg for The Ageless Traveler, here to make sure you never stop traveling.